I'll go interview. so one of the branches there, the branches there. Alleging to do a statement, you know, I could do what I want to show the villain there. Billion there. Yes. 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 See that video. Can you imagine? <laughs> With respect to the new Nara policy, a video circulating, of course, which you have just watched on social media, shown the moment some group of men were seen carrying bags or the old Nara notes worth over 40 million Nara to be deposited in a bank. And people were asked, How did you know? Of course, from they themselves, they said it by themselves. The man was approached by journalists and newsmen who questioned him regarding the money and why he didn't deem it fit to swap the money earlier. The man who spoke in a native language gave his reasons. The trending video has generated a lot of mixed reactions as people look to, to the comment section to share their opinion. Yes. Have you ever been to Kazwa Kambaya in Kano, for instance? If yes, you probably will have a different new a view. A different view. Commodity traders in the market need access to their cash on daily basis. See, because of the way we do things, we have people who are even more industrious, who are more, you know, they are into trade than what we do because of the foundation we have given to ourselves. So we always think that, oh, it is not easy. D, 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 D. All those are our story. Well, the new NARA policy initiated by the Central Bank has been a topic of concern in the last few days over the deadline of the new NARA notes. Earlier on Thursday, President Buhari insisted that there was no going back on the new Nara policy, adding that only 200 Nara notes were to remain in use. Yet, Randuje, Erufai, Tinubu, Ononuga, all of them crying. For once, this is the best policy which Buhari has done. Okay, you are correct. I support this policy sincerely. There is no better way to fight corruption in Nigeria than through cashless policy. Those that took the matter to court are serving themselves and not the masses. You are a good thinker. Okay. Mm. Including the most intelligent man in the North, Erufai. Okay. All this was at Inumbu's voice. It couldn't be otherwise. <laughs> Hope is not uh, what I'm thinking. Ransom that was collected and eaten. I come in peace. You might be right, Fa. Criminal politicians have sent them to go and try their luck. They are errand boys for politicians. Sorry, try everything to obey supporters is politics. Hmm. Egbo. Rara. Egbo Rara, really? Okay. Oh. In the developed countries, you hardly see currency notes above 100. They all use low denomination, including coins. Something Nigerians feel they have had grown. Exactly. My point. The cashless policy is a good economic strategy no need for 1000 naira notes it's for corruption he go talk where in for see the money now nigerians you see how bad people whoever that that person may be stash millions of naira at home and they want the economy to grow how to a large extent the policy is good it will expose the enemies of nigeria if you ask me this 40 million plus don't belong to this man. Someone sent them. 200 naira is supposed to be highest Nigerian currency now. 
I wouldn't even blame the man that is just taking the money out. Probably is a cow seller living in a remote area and may not have access to communications, telecommunications, nor light for news. Eh, well, I can't hear this one. Why is it that a telecommunication no reach there? Why is it that a no light? Eh, and they will tell you that they have developed the country. Why is I don't understand. Then you are seeing this world, so I don't know why development will not get to that place and that's why they have made these people illiterate because when they tell, talk about it about it, oh some people i don't know how to do this it's it's even an indictment on the go on the part of the government whether at state level at a local government level or at the federal level what are you people doing for the past 60 years you still have people who are in this kind of a a, a age who are in, who have this kind of mindset so i indicted the government the more just thinking out loud, I am sure all this money don't even belong to egos because I am sure they can't allow their hard-earned money to be destroyed. That is not their money. They are being sent by criminal politicians or bandits and uh, terrorists. And so it be. Don't mind the people who are crying up and down. They know exactly why they are crying. Crying for the past three months. If you don't train your child very well, this is the kind of a thing you get. You don't train them, you don't get them educated. At the end of the day, they are the ones that will come and be giving you problems. Because I believe that uh, those politicians who are crying, uh, it is not as if they cannot transfer money, it is not as if they cannot go cashless uh, policy, it is not as if they cannot abide with that. But they are telling you now that uh, they are concerned because of the suffering and the endurance they are going through. And you begin to ask them, then what developed did you? embark on in your state because human human development no 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 they will always be talking about infrastructure where they use really steal money but for them to develop people it's a problem they will not want to do that they rather leave people in that condition so that election time you can be able to toss them around deceive them you know say all manner of things that is what they always do usually do now you'll be complaining. Oh, these people are not educated. They don't know how to do this. They don't know how to do that. How did you? How far did you develop them? How far did you develop these guys? You didn't develop them because at this age and time, if somebody can know money, I see no reason we should not be able to know where money should be deposited. If you can use radio, they can use radio anywhere they are. They have that network for radio. So why is it that banks are not there? Why is it that they cannot? A majority of them now they have food. At least before now, before the coming of or the emergence of a mobile phone, we they used to have a radio. Is radio not part of technology? So why is it that when it comes to something that will benefit the country, they will begin to speak English when they don't understand? So guys, let's say your opinion and have your tweet on this.